I feel like uh, this concealer is like my secret weapon whenever doing very glass like makeup looks. Hi everyone, so for today's video I'm going to show you how to create the perfect glass dewy skin for editorial photos. A lot of you on Instagram have been asking me how I create the glossy, shiny uh, compaction on my photos. So in today's video, I'm exactly going to show you that. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see how to achieve this look, you can just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos three times a week. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of my content. And that's it. So let's get started with the makeup. So we are going to jump right into it. So to achieve a very glass-like dewy finish to the skin, uh, it's really important to use a moisturizer or something that's going to allow cream product to glide very nicely on the skin. So you really want to well moisture your skin. So the primer I've been using and I've been actually really liking, it's not because it's the only primer I own. Uh, <laughs> this is the Glassy Balm from uh, Touch and Soul. And I actually got this in my BoxyCharm. And I'm really uh, surprised by how much I, I'm using this at the moment. This is really nice because it, it doesn't have any shimmer. So when I first saw this, I was like, how is this going to bring back radiance to my skin? Like, how is this going to make my skin look shiny? Uh, if it doesn't have any like shimmers or like illuminating powers or like benefits. I really like the effect that it gives to my skin. Uh, it's not like a, a shiny primer. It's just a really thick hydrating primer and it's also going to leave a very nice like shine dewiness to the skin so it kind of makes the look the skin look very oily so i'm just going to apply this all over my face i'm just applying it kind of like a moisturizer all right so after i've applied my primer i'm going to apply just a tiny little bit of foundation uh now whenever my skin is doing well and i don't really have a lot of like scarring or acne i usually go directly in with my contour stick uh, just to bring back definition and color to my skin but before doing that today because i do have a little bit of pigmentation i'm just going to unify my skin tone a little bit i'm going to take a tiny little bit of this covergirl clean fresh skin milk i really enjoy using this one because it has a really fluid texture so it's not really heavy on the skin and it also gives a very nice luminosity so what you're looking for in a foundation when you want to do this very glass like editorial look is to find a foundation that's going to bring back radiance to the skin as well so i'm just going to take a little bit of this foundation and i'm mostly going to apply it to the perimeter of my skin i do enjoy using a very light coverage uh, foundation just because i really do still enjoy some skin showing through i don't really enjoy a very full coverage foundation so that's the reason why i really like the covergirl one because it gives a very light coverage but it still looks very natural and dewy on the skin. So I'm just buffing this in using a M439 brush. I'm also going to take some of that and put it down my neck. And as you can see, the skin is already looking more unified, uh, but it still looks like my skin. Like I really love this foundation, it's so pretty. And also you'll notice that I'm not going to use any powders today. To achieve a very glass finish to the skin, it's really important just to use cream products. Of course, you can achieve a dewy skin uh, using powder products, like using a, a powder highlight or a blush that has some luminosity or a bronzer with luminosity. You can always achieve this kind of look using powders. But I just feel like in photos, creams are giving the most uh, effect they're going to give the most like natural shine to the skin and the most reflective shine to the skin and they also look like skin so they're not going to be like powder looking because sometimes if you use powders it is going to give a little bit of texture to the skin so yeah if you want to have a very glass like finish to your skin i would recommend only using cream products that has luminosity to them so everything is blended in so next i just want to add a little bit of definition to my face so i just want to bring back some color and definition so i'm going to use my abh contour stick in the shade fawn this is a really nice shade because it's not too cool it's not too warm it's a really good in between just to again bring back definition and color to the skin and i'm actually going to take that with another m439 brush and i'm going to take the product directly on the brush and i'm going to start and tap this in the hollows of my cheeks 
and it's really important to do tapping motions because we just applied a foundation so I don't really want to disturb the coverage that the foundation gave me so I'm just going to do some tapping motions and also the reason why I applied the contour directly on the brush and not directly on my skin is because whenever I use the contour stick directly on my skin I feel like the first area where the stick touched always stays darker so it's it's more difficult to blend out um, if you do it directly on your skin than taking it on the brush because if you take it on the brush you already have more product on a wider area so it's going to give a much more natural blend all right so i'm just taking my time doing tapping motions and when i have the first layout of this cream contour i'm just going to take my foundation brush and i'm going to tap over these edges just to make sure that everything is really well blended and i'm just going to do some back and forth until i have the intensity that i want Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to leave everything like that. So next we are going to jump into concealing. So the reason why I like to apply my cream contouring before doing my concealing is because if I do any mistakes with my contour stick, I can always clean it up using my concealer. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Creases Concealer. I really like to use this concealer because it's super dewy if you're looking for a dewy concealer look no further this is the one for you i bought the little sample size just to try out and i'm really happy i got the sample size because like this lasts a very long time you really do not need a lot to to do your whole face and i maybe wouldn't buy this if you're looking for a long lasting concealer because this is actually called the creases concealer but it's the most creasy concealer i ever tried in my whole life like the texture is really oily it's a really thick texture and hydrating texture so yeah it's not going to be very long lasting so yeah i'm just going to take a tiny little bit of this and i'm going to apply it to the high points of my face so i'm going to start under my eyes and you will see i really do not use a lot of this because like i said a little goes a very long way so i'm just going to take a little bit like this under my eyes in the center of my forehead and i'm also going to do some concealing on my chin because i do tend to have some redness there and acne so i'm just going to apply this much <laughs> not too much because you are going to regret your decision you're you're going to have like too much on your face and you're not going to be able to blend it out trust me i've been there <laughs> so i'm just going to start and i'm actually going to be using my finger to blend this in and as you can see i don't know if you're going to be able to see that but i already have some luminosity under my eye all right so i don't know if you're going to be able to tell but my skin already has a really nice shine to it i feel like uh this concealer is like my secret weapon whenever doing very glass like makeup looks all right so next step would be to apply some cream blush so for my blush i do have two like main blushes that i like to use my first choice usually would be the cream uh, blushes from Fenty. These are amazing. I love them so much. I'm probably going to buy more shades uh, just because I only have the Fuego Flush shade, but I, I think it's going to be my favorite shade of them all because it's so interesting. This is a really pretty orange shade that also has a golden shimmer to it. So I've been really enjoying this and it also, like the concealer and all the other products I applied on my skin, they have a really good luminosity to them. Another item that I would use if I want something a little bit more rosy and peachy on my cheeks would be to use the uh, Natasha Denona diamond and brush palette I do use the cream blush very often and the cream highlight these two for a glass skin are really amazing you really have to pick something that has a lot of luminosity but these are my first like choices and the Natasha Denona palette I really recommend it to you because it's so beautiful and it is still on sale on the Sephora website so if you're looking for a good face palette you should probably pick this one up but for today's look I'm going to be using my cream blush from Fenty and I'm actually just going to take that on my finger and I'm going to start to dab this on my cheeks I really like for pictures to apply blush very heavily because if you take pictures with uh, spotlights uh, your skin is going to be washed out so you really have to be more intense to whenever applying colors to your skin so I am going to be quite generous with the blush and I also kind of want to apply this quite close to my nose and my eyes I've been really loving the like soft girl e-girl kind of look 
whenever applying my blush so i am going to take this quite close to my eye and my nose and i also find that this cream blush with the tarte concealer they blend beautifully together like because both are very dewy i find that they blend really nicely together all right so next step would be to apply the cream highlight I feel like highlight, it's kind of like a personal choice. You could always go for a powdered highlight or a cream highlight because both do have a very nice luminosity. Both are going to do the same thing. But I just find that if you apply a powdered highlight on top of a very glassy, uh, dewy skin, it's not going to be as seamless as if you were to use a cream highlight. I would recommend to use a cream highlight because it's just going to blend into the skin and give a really natural finish to the skin. So for my cream highlight, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Vanish Stick. This is the shade Gold Flash. And I've been loving, just freaking loving this highlight. It's so pretty. It doesn't have any shimmers. It doesn't have any glitters. So there's not going to be any glitters in photos. It's really just going to reflect light very nicely. And it's also going to melt into the skin. And it's, it, it's just the most natural looking intense highlight i ever tried so i'm putting this on the temples i'm also applying this on the high points of the cheeks and i'm going to apply this in kind of the c motion but do you see this how pretty this is so these product together are not going to skip they're not going to remove coverage it's really perfect they really do work well together. I'm also going to put a little bit of that on the nose bridge. And I also enjoy putting highlight right here in between the brows because in photos, the first area uh, where the light is going to hit is the cheekbones, the nose, uh, Cupid's bow, a little bit around the chin. And it's also going to hit right here because this area right here is quite pronounced. So I do like to add a little bit of luminosity there so that the light is going to look even more bright on this area and I feel like it's really like I don't know I really like to highlight this area I do have a little friend here so I'm not going to help highlight this one I'm just going to avoid my friend right here so you should really highlight areas that you know the light is going to hit harder all right, so we are almost done. I'm just going to finish up my eye makeup, my lips and my, my brows off camera and I will be right back to show you the last step. Today for this eyeshadow, I used my single eyeshadow from Colourpop. This is the shade Howlin. It's a really nice like lilac purple shade. I really like it. And I also used just a little bit of concealer with white eyeshadow just to create these lines. I kind of like the look. I don't know how I feel about these lashes with this look just yet. I feel like it might be like a little bit extraterrestrial a little bit <laughs> on my lips i also have a mac retro matte lipstick in the shade bronx and i also topped it off using some gloss from nyx this is the nyx lingerie gloss in the shade clear uh so yeah so this is it for the look the last step you want to take for achieving a perfect glass like skin for photos would be to use a dewy setting spray i've been really enjoying this one this is the pixie rose glow mist this is actually my second bottle that's how how much i like it <laughs> so you really need to mix it in because there is a little bit of oil in this mist so you really have to shake it and i'm just going to be very generous and apply a good amount of this on my skin all right i'm going to let that dry all right so i just applied some lower lash mascara also uh drew in some fake freckles i'm really loving this look right now i feel like it's really editorial it's the point <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much it for my glass skin technique that i've been doing for my instagram pictures i really really enjoy it especially because of the concealer this concealer really allows the overall skin to have a very dewy finish and of course doing a good amount of dewy setting spray after doing your makeup will also give a very shiny overall uh, finish to your skin also another very important thing um, in this kind of glass skin effect for editorial pictures is to use cream products overall so to only use cream products for your complexion it's really going to allow all of your skin product to really melt into the skin uh, make everything look seamless very fresh very natural looking so yeah so this is my technique for a glass skin at the moment for pictures i really hope this was helpful for you uh, but yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed today's look 
Facebook. You can also subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos three times a week. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of my content. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.